Hello everyone, Scotty White of World Combat Sports. Today I have the pleasure of speaking to DeAndre, the Matrix Robinson Neal. So give me a moment while I bring him on. And please share the video. Thank you all for For those of you that's tuning in, just give me a moment. I'll be interviewing Carolina's own, the Andre the Matrix Robinson Neal, rising star in the sport of boxing. So give me a moment. Um, first time being on live with this fighter. So just please be patient. Jamani Jones, salute. Billy Blair, salute. Thanks for dropping in. <clears throat> JJ Gordon, salute. Thanks for tuning in. Tuning in. Thanks. Share the video, please. This is going to be a uh, very exciting video. Jamani, what's good? You know what it is, man. We're going to talk about getting you on here, Jermani, especially on the, um, the, the cusp of your next bout. So y'all just give me a minute. I'm trying to bring in his team. Please share the video for maximum viewership for these fighters and also World Combat Sports Media. I'm adding him right now. <clears throat> hey, what's good, man? What's going on, man? All right. Hey, everyone, good morning. Hey. For those of you that's tuning in, this is Scotty White of World Combat Sports. Today I have the pleasure of speaking to Carolina's own undefeated fighter, DeAndre, the Matrix, Robinson Neal. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you? All right. Hey, let's reflect on this past weekend, man. The thriller in the Vegas Grand Villa. How did it feel, 19-0, stepping in there after 10 months to your 20th victory? I mean, it felt good, you know. It's, it's a regular day at the office, you know. We've trained hard for um We also, at the same time, didn't think we was going to get a fight because all the opponents kept falling out. So to be able to put on a show in front of a home crowd because we had a lot of people come up to see me fight, it felt good, especially not being active for like a year. So it felt pretty good. Hey, um, for the fight fans that's tuning in, hey, the Matrix – you started the sport at eight years old. How has that formula worked out for you, man? The father-son dynamic and having that, that boxing lineage to work off of. How has that worked out um, this far in training, getting to this point? It's, it, and, and all in all, it's always worked out good because he always wants my best interest. And we work hard. He pushed me harder than anybody else would push me. Now, I had some cons to it because our attitudes are, are clash at times and we'll get into it, but at the same time, it's a good father-son bond and we've grown close over the years, so it means a lot. I want to commend you, too, for your boxing dynamic, you know what I'm saying, raising you this far in the sport of boxing. You had over 100 amateur fights, my man. How has that experience, what did you learn? Because I know that 
most of the um the loss that you received was before you even was a teenager. So how has that experience been for you? See, when I first started boxing, I would just show up at fights. I wouldn't train, man. I just thought I was one of the baddest people in the world. So I got humbled early. <laughs> but me being learning early, it's just I got so much different experience. I went to every tournament. And most South Carolina fighters, they fight in South Carolina. But I rarely fought here. I, I went to every tournament from D.C. to Kansas City to the Worlds. And so the fact that I learned so much from different experiences and watching different fighters, like a lot of fighters you see that's on TV. Now, I was in the amateurs with, they just got a better push than me when they on turn pro. So I learned a lot from it, especially the people that I was around. It seems like you buckled in right now. Looking at your um, you know, your resume, man. You started your first debut in 2011, and you was pretty active, man. I'm talking about you was fighting like three times a year until this point. Um, you know, in, in the last couple of years, you maybe fight fought twice a year. Is it a gift and a curse to have that behind you as far as being one of the best in Carolina? You know what I'm saying? The fighters don't want to fight you. See, when we first started out, I was 17, so I couldn't fight in South Carolina. So the fact of me not being able to fight in South Carolina, we had to hustle. We had to get it. So we was in every state trying to get to every fight. But the, the more of a record you get, the harder it is to get fights. So, and a lot of people are not going to take a difficult fight. So the fact that a person's not trying to take a difficult fight, it's it's demoralizing sometimes because you train so hard, but at the same time, everything is God's plan. So we work it out. Hey, boxing is one of those challenges there, um, DeAndre. And it seems like, you know, every every starting point in boxing, you know, that's the beautiful part of the two turns. You learn as you go along. And you checked the box before you was, I think, even 17, or you checked the box at 17 to turn professional. What made you even consider to just, you know, turn over and say, you know, it's time for me to start fighting with the big boys and let's make this happen? Well, since I was probably like 13, I've been sparring up professionals. So I was always had professional style, which was hard for me to answer just because it's a point-based system. So, as I turned 17, I think I won the last tournament I was in. I was like, we might as well just turn pro because it's a lot easier. I sparring up with pros as it is. So, at the same time, we was like, all right. Cause when I was 14, I was Louis Collazo's head sparring partner for the Andre Berto fight. So, I learned so much at a young age to where how the pro system works. I was like, all right, well, with 17, we could turn pro here. But we just can't do it in South Carolina. So we're like, all right, I've been beating up pros since I was 15, 16. Anyway, we might as well just turn. Hey, hey DeAndre, one thing I have, you know, don't take it the wrong way, but the way I've seen you box in the ring, man, it seems like you already had a world championship. You know, you can pose, man. I'm telling you, it was one of the fight of the nights over there, you know, in Charlotte, North Carolina, man. The crowd was in chaos, standing up. They was cheering you on, man. What was going on? You know, it, it was tough for you to get an opponent. But your your pose, your composure, man, your poise in there in the storm, is that something you learned over time with your experience that you just don't let it get to you? Um, It's just the experience, you know, and how hard we train. We train so hard, it's to the point where every, when we get in the ring, that's the easy part. So... It's just experience come with a big key with it because we've been in every tournament. We done been on them stages before. So I know how to play that 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 puzzle card, that 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 possum. So it's not really much that gets to me. And like we train hard every day. Days off, days in. It's it's always dog work. So it's it's all just love in the, in the gym. So when it's so much love in the gym and I got such a good backing from my fan base in the ring, this is put on a show. And I love to put on shows. Yeah, I can see, man. It was that Carolina love in there, Matrix. You know what I'm saying? And and like I said before, it was it was it was good to see 
a fighter like yourself um, step in the, in, the, in the ring, man, and put on a show like that at this level? You know, what's in store in 2019, man, as you now still undefeated, 20 victories and zero defeats? What's next for the Matrix? Um, well, first things first, we're hoping somebody call and think this is an easy fight so we can prove them wrong. But it's just moving up and because – I grinded differently from everybody else. A lot of people had backing from big promoters and big names because where they're from, South Carolina's not a boxing state. So I had to grind my way all the way to the top and to where I'm at. So it just, the opportunities that come forward, we got a lot of open opportunities now that we've hit that big 20 and 0. So with that being said, just on the sky's the limit now. Yeah, and you're exactly right, man. The skies is the limit. And, and you and your father and your team is flying quite high on your flight of success. And, you know, fighting out of uh, Robinson Neal Boxing Academy, what can you tell the fans that you enjoy the most in having that father there? You know, your, your dad was a prior veteran, prior Army, vet, um, Army Ranger, and also an undefeated fighter himself. What advice have you, you know, that you can share with us the boxing community about what you've learned from your father. See, the best thing about that me and my father started so early is the fact that as I was learning from him, he was learning from other coaches also. So everything he was learning over time, we put together into me. So it's a lot of things that he'll tell you he wasn't able to do, but I've learned and he's taught me. So it's more of a the fact that we've been so many places and learned so many things from different coaches, it helps out a lot. And that's the best thing. Like in the Robinson near Boston Academy, it's so many different type of athletes here. We got professional basketball players, other professional coaches, other professional boxers. And me, I'm the back end of the gym. So it starts with me. So with me, I'm opening doors for everybody else. And that's the main thing that we would want. So, with that being said, it's just the atmosphere in the gym is just so, so lovely. Understood there, you know, Carolina love. I got to let your fans, you know, in on the live there, um, the Matrix. Jamani Jones said, much love and respect to the Andre, and I would love to come anytime. Um, Andrea Robinson Neal said, congratulations, son. Cat Taylor, the number one fan, yeah. stepped in to support. Um, Quavo said, Dre, congrats. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Hey, Vegas Grand Boxing promoter, LaVonda Early Stacy dropped in to support you. Um, Tammy Staley said, congratulations, Dre. Also, LaVonda Early said, congrats. You have, you have a, a plethora of fans, man, especially in the Carolina area, showing you love. And that's a good thing for a fighter like yourself that's been put in the hard work and sacrifice. I really look forward to seeing you back, back in the square, man. I hope, I hope you back on um, North Carolina, man, for another fight. You know, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, yeah. This time, I know who you are when I'm going through with my camera instead of walking past you, man. That pissed me <laughs> off. Like, I was like, I walked past him and his father. I had, I didn't know who you were, to be honest. I, I didn't have a list of fighters ahead of time. But you know what? It won't happen next time. Um, Russell, well, at the same time, it's a good thing because now you know. Everybody gets to know. Everybody got to see that this is the real deal. This is really what – it's not just what to say on paper, you feel me? Um, and I meant that when you was um, giving everybody a shot, so I meant to say everybody thank you for the um, congratulations and the thanks. And the gym is always open to anybody who wants to spar, anybody who wants to get work. We're open every day. We're here. And so anybody's invited for the work. Hey, The Matrix, speak about that gym, man. Can you, you know, let the fight fans know about your team, where your gym is located? And like you said before, you kind of gave a little bit of highlights as to who you were sparring with. You know, kind of let your fans know about that gym and where they can follow you on social media. Well, you can follow the gym, period, on social media at Robinson and Boxing Academy. You can follow my fan page because I'm not on Facebook right now. At DeAndre the Matrix, um, um, Instagram the Matrix eight hundred three, and the gym is at nineteen seventy one the Grand Road. We're open every day, and we have fighters come from North Carolina, Florida, Georgia, 
everywhere to get work. So we're always available for work and anybody's invited, you know, so we got, we got a pretty decent state. We got a lot of amateurs right now. We have plenty of amateurs that's building their way up. Um, we have another fighter, um, my cousin Jalen Pridgen. Jalen is what, 4 0? 3 0. 3 or 4 0. I'm not sure exactly. But he's going his way up. He has a fight coming up um, December 15th down here at Jamel Temple. So it's um, it's a big stable. We're we working. Everybody's trying to get to the same goal. I know you're still on the grind. You're at the gym right now. That champ, I just want to ask you this one last question to try to correlate. You know, um, a message that you sent out, you basically said you just don't want to be a champion. You want to be a legacy fighter. You want people to remember you as one of the, the, the all-time greats. Talk about the inspiration that you mentioned with Roy Jones Jr. See, with Roy, Roy was always my favorite fighter. Everybody had Tyson and people love Floyd and Ali. And which I love all these fighters, but Roy was always the style I adapted to. And it was always close to home. So with his style, I kind of stole a, a tinch of it and made it my own. And it, I just like the, the, the showman style, the I'm going to sell tickets, I'm going to give you what you paid for style. So that, that means a lot. And prime for prime, in my opinion, nobody was better than Roy in his prime. So... I look at that, and when people think of Roy in his prime, they think of the best fighter, period, and that's what I want to be. Hey, salute to you, man. You know what I'm saying? That's true words right there. Was Roy, was he able to approach you and congratulate you after the fight? Were you able to speak to him when you was in Charlotte, North Carolina, after your oh, epic yeah. meeting? See, Roy and my father's good friends, so I knew Roy for a, a little bit of time, so. Me, I, always, I got to sit down and talk to him. We had a good conversation, talked about fights, and gave me his opinion on everything. So it was, it was a good, humbling experience. It's you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was a good, humbling experience that I can sit and talk to him after the fight, and we give our opinions on different fights and this, that, and the third. So it was all love. Uh, Hey, in closing, the channel, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, to be honest. Um, coming off an of epic thriller in the Vegas Grand Villa, you know what I'm saying? It was one of the fight of the nights, man. Thank you for the showmanship. You mentioned having sparring with um, Luis Colazzo, right? He's been slated on the bill to face Terrence Crawford. How do you think that fight is going to play out, man? Ooh, I didn't know that. That's, that's new news to me. And with, with that fight... Pete Louis always been an underdog. So with that being said, it's, he's going to probably still be the underdog of this fight, but it's not a fight that you can sleep on. So with him, he's one of the fighters you can't look at the record. You got to go off the skill. So it's going to be a good fight, and I, I can't wait to see it. Hey, champ, put it this way. It's been an absolute pleasure you tuning in to World Combat Sports and allowing me to interview you. Thank you very much. Salute to your dad, Dominique robinson Neal. You, DeAndre, the Matrix, Robinson Neal, out of um, the Boxing Academy over there in South Carolina. Thank you for the interview and also your PR for setting it all up. You know what I'm saying? Tell I said, much appreciated. Yes, yes, please give her a shout out because she's going to aggravate me if she don't. So shout out to you, Sheikah Matt. Yeah. I appreciate you putting me on the show, man. I was all love. I appreciate it. I'll come back anytime. Absolutely. You know, pass the word, man. That's what I do. And hopefully you enjoyed the interview. And best wishes going into your next bout, man, in 2019. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Got to have you there. Absolutely. Salute, my brother, and be safe out there, man. All right, now. Some fans who tuned in, thank you very much, Scotty White of World Combat Sports. Hey, tr truly appreciate everyone who stopped in. They hit, hit my interview with DeAndre, the Matrix, Robinson Neal, out of Columbia, South Carolina, man. Robinson Neal Boxing Academy. We had to come and speak on his on the Vegas Grand, Vegas Grand Boxing Promotion. It was absolutely one of the most exciting fights of the night, to be honest. I saw some people that dropped through. All those that came through that support the Matrix, truly appreciate it. Share the video so you can get maximum exposure for this um, boxer. It's all about his fans. You know what I'm saying? Dude is undefeated. 
rising boxing star, 20 victories, zero defeats. He's been in the game for a long time, since eight years old. You know what I'm saying? He turned pro at 17, y'all. 17 years old. Still on the grind. Him and his father are training tandem in the sport of boxing. I wanted to give a shout out to um, LaVonda Early Stacy that dropped through Vegas Grand Boxing Promotions. All right. Also, I want to give a shout out to Randall Wide, Wide Promotion, who was in the building that night. Thank you for dropping through their Wide Promotions. Jamani Jones, Nikki Gore said, Robinson Neal Boxing Academy is the best boxing gym in the Carolinas. Damien from WBF dropped through, said, hey, I got that championship for you. Um, Dana Wesley said, RNBA, which stands for Robin Neal Boxing Academy, is the best. Support and love is like no other. other. And it's all about showing love to these fighters. You know what I'm saying? Especially out of the um, Carolinas. Jose Cantu, he dropped through. Salute to you. Um, Solomon LeVon Staley, dog work. All right. RNBA, Robinson Neal Boxing Academy, salute. Um, Donella McCray, always support. One love to you. Thanks for dropping through always, Donella McCray. Always thank you for the support out of Die Hard and also one of the admins in World Combat Sports. K Dog, Street Beast, you know what it is, man. Salute to you. Kevin Davis in the building. Carlos Powell, Robinson Neal Boxing Academy, showing some love. And for those of you, that, all of you that stopped in, you know, I tried to mention everybody, J.J. Gordon, you know, Jorge Ramos, Yashika Broughton Mack. She was the one to help put this together. I was able to interview her and um, DeAndre's father, Dominique Robinson Neal, who was a former Army veteran and also a distinguished Army Ranger, y'all. He himself was an undefeated fighter with a ledger of seven victories and zero defeats. You know what I'm saying? So the lineage is there. You know, all we have to do is sit back and watch the growth happen. That's what it's all about when it comes to world combat sports. So hopefully you enjoyed the interview. Share the video so um, he can build up his fan base. And you can look forward to this young warrior stepping back in the square in the near future. For, for all of you that turn, um, tuned in, always keep me on the notifications. I'm trying to get more and more fighters as we go along. Primarily, you know, the boxing um, community. I also cover MMA. But mostly, majority of the friends is boxing. That's what it is. The number one combat sport in the world is boxing. Period. Just like AI said, boxing. That's what we're talking about, boxing. A absolutely. So I'm going to cut it off right here. Be sure to share it. It'll take a couple of minutes for it to um, load up to Facebook. But share, you know, phenomenal backstory. Phenomenal experience with DeAndre The Matrix, Robinson Neal out of um, South Carolina. All right. I look forward to seeing him step back in the square. And hopefully it's on another, you know, um, Vegas Grand North Carolina card. So this time I won't have to walk past him without being able to get an interview. So salute everybody and thanks for tuning in. Be sure to follow me on all social media, Facebook page, um, my group, World Combat Sports, and also IG. I'm absolutely trying to go live on um, IG much more. So be sure to follow me on IG, man. Build up the fan base so when I go live with these boxers and these fighters, man, you know, I can I can transition over there to the IG. And I'm a little bit light on Twitter. OK, hopefully your Monday is going. Have a wonderful week. I'm out.